I have great admiration for people who not only start a project, but see it all the way through to the end. Do you know when you walk through the streets of a housing estate, you often see an old car that's covered in moss and is rusting away in the driveway. One can only imagine that the man who lives there years ago bought this old car so that he could fix it up and at some point in the future get it back on the road. But now years have gone past and the car is just too far gone to have any realistic hope that it can ever be renewed. Well our verse for this morning reminds us that when God begins a work he will see it through to completion. Psalm 138 verse 8 The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Can I give you two thoughts, one prayer and one hymn for the day? The two thoughts are these. If you can call Jesus Christ your Lord and your Saviour, then God has begun a good work within you and that work will not falter and it will not fail. I think the Apostle Paul must have had this psalm in mind when he said to the believers in Philippi, I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. The second thought here is that the guarantee given for the fulfilment of God's work in us is not in our strength or ability today, but on God's enduring steadfast and eternal love. He will keep us, mature us and complete us, not on the basis of our love for him, as that is sadly deficient even at the best of times. It's on his abounding, sufficient, covenant love that our hope and our future rests. Here's the hymn that you can sing in response to that. It's a debtor to mercy alone, particularly the second verse. The work which his goodness began, the arm of his strength will complete. His promise is yes and amen and never was forfeited yet. Things future, nor things that are now, not all things below or above can make him his purpose forego or sever my soul from his love. And here's the prayer to pray with that in mind. It's the last phrase of our verse. Do not forsake the work of your hands. God's promise to fulfill his purpose for us doesn't mean that we sit back lazily in the sun and wait for heaven to arrive. We must respond with obedience to his word and faith expressing itself in prayer. We pray that God would do what he has already promised to do.